Hey y'all, Brian here, Castle Hives. So, we got something going on in the hives, and it's this right here. So I'm gonna explain to you what this is, um, and what I'm doing in the hives. So, let's get this going. y'all so what we got here is and i don't even know how to pronounce the name govi govi it is a thermometer and hygrometer so what this little thing does and and it's small i mean you see this is just the packaging now the actual it is a bluetooth uh thermometer and it also gives you the humidity uh readings now i've seen these used in um like cigar humidors different things like that so I got talking to Chad from 5L4H, and he was going to get, uh, you know, one or two of these. And I'm like, yeah, I'll get, I'll get a couple too. I'm just curious where, and I'm using this just to show that trend of the temperatures for inside of the beehives. Now, within a hive in the wintertime, they tend to cluster. So this little sensor, and it's real small, um, I won't get a true temperature from inside the cluster because it's sitting on the top of the second deep. I just dropped it down in there, but at least it should show temps warmer than the outside, okay? So there's an app that you can download on your phone, and what this app will do then is it shows you the temperature along with the humidity and it will just store that data so I don't have to be near the device and then you can export it just to show that trend. So when I go into, and this is for the urban hive, and I want to look at, let's say a week, you see right there how that trend is. So what I'm going to do, I've got this exported, I'm going to jump over to the computer here and we're just going to go through and talk and see how this trend looks. So just to kind of explain to you know everyone a little bit of how that temperature is in the hive. So let's get over to the computer. Okay, so we're over at the computer and you can see what I've done is I've taken all of the data from um, the little Bluetooth device and you can see that if we look at the Excel, so on that left hand side we can see the times and I've just trended it out every hour okay and it shows right here we can see temperature readings and then humidity so you know just looking at the first few here we see 47s 50 you know 49s so we're upper 40s you know and you can see that trend I kind of graphed it out um, the temperature is the purple line so we stay pretty much between 40 and 50 now we've had two periods where it's dipped that cluster might have moved, you know, there might have been strong winds, that this sensor is on the top of that box, <clears throat> and there's a top entrance there, so there might have been a strong draft coming in, don't know. Um, my humidity, as you see, stays pretty consistent as well. The, the last readings that I was able to get, and I'm going to scroll all the way down, oh, come on, here we go, coming all the way down. So the last readings that I got were in the 40s, and my humidities were low. You know, you see it was 39%. So, you know, and this is just a little experiment. I just wanted to put this in there. I mean, I thought it was an awesome idea that, you know, without having to really check the hives, um, I can see right here where their temperatures are. Now, I know... You know, like the last day when I went over and we had about 45, um, you see it started to climb, you know, towards the end. Um, when I left over at the hives, it was at 48. The outside temperature was 20-some um, degrees. So, you know, I know that that hive is still there. Um, you know, and this is just a quick, easy way uh, this little Bluetooth device, I'll put a link down in the comments. Um, you know, got them on Amazon. They're pretty cheap also. Um, you know, 
I like it. You know, I, I like being able to just go over. I open up my phone. I check it. Um, I've also had a couple where I know they're gone. Um, I, I've got two of these sensors. The other hive where I know it's gone, I can pinpoint the day when that hive probably dropped off. Um, you know, sad thing, but this here I think is pretty cool. Um, you know, Chad, let me know what you think about this graph here, but everybody just, uh, you know, let me know your thoughts. Um, this is a cheap device here. Put it in there. You can monitor your hives. So um, that's all. Uh, just a little update here of what's going on throughout the winter. So not much you can do through the winter with the hives themselves. During the winter time, though, too, with beekeeping, you can prep for the next season. So, you know, you can get equipment clean. You can get equipment if you're looking to expand. Um, right now through the winter, too, is time to get your packages. If you're going to start with nukes, start your nukes. You know, get those ordered. Um, so right now is an important time just because, you know, even though it's the winter, not much we can do here in Northeast Ohio. Um, it's still pretty much you know, a lot going on in beekeeping. So um, that's all, folks. So if you like, uh, you know, if you like this little demo here and what I got going on here with this little uh, thermometer and hygrometer, um, hit that like, subscribe along, follow Castle Hive. So we'll see you next time.